Jack and Tom, it's wonderful to meet you. Um, so first of all, you can pretty much take the rest of the day off, can't you? Because like Dunkirk's, like you've got a winner there in your hands. Like you don't really need to do interviews or so press told, or anything. Yeah, we're told that folk like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't know that until about ten minutes ago. But yeah, yeah. great. Have you had a chance to see it yet? Yeah, yeah we've seen okay. It. And your thoughts? Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Open well, you mind. see, that's the standard reaction from everybody. Yeah, so far. it is kind of though the film, the kind of film you want to see again. Though I think I do need to see I it. Think again. We were all when we all saw it. We were all a bit like, yeah. oh my god, yeah. Because it was such a large part of our life for four or five months. Yeah. Well, just uh, briefly, without giving anything away, just give us a wee bit of insight into who your characters are, maybe how they relate to each other then as well. So I, I play uh, a civilian called Peter, Peter Dawson, who goes over from um, Dorset, where we, myself and Mark live. And Mark plays my dad, Mark Rylands, um, and we go over as part of Operation Dynamo to retrieve some of the soldiers off the beach at Dunkirk. And I play Collins, who's an RAF pilot, a flying officer in the RAF, who's sent over to help uh, protect the beach during the evacuation. You have to do a lot of uh, acting, just your eyes, basically. You're like yeah. darting around the whole time. Yeah. That's all your training has gone, gone into. Just, just straight like, in the eyes. That's what yeah. we did in the audition. I just came in like that. <laughs> like yeah. that, basically. Yeah. 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 Nailed it. Aye. Yeah. 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 Ninja. No, it was, um, it, it, it was a lot of, it was very cramped in that cockpit. And then... Um, and actually, you know, we were saying earlier about with Chris's films, if there needs to be planes, the guy just gets planes, there's no CGI or stuff mm -hmm. like that. But at some points in that cockpit, we, we did have to use our imagination because whenever we had to get really close in, we were on a gimbal on the, on the ground. So you were sometimes, you know, quite often looking at crew, you know, and, and you had to use your imagination. So it was both extremes in this film. Yeah. And Tom, uh, you obviously, you mentioned Mark Ryan there, playing your dad, nice dad to have. Um, you also spent a lot of time with uh, Barry uh, and Killian, two Irish actors, and Killian Murphy's cheekbones. How was that experience on the boat? Yeah, you can key a car with them, can't you? Yeah, I think he probably has yeah, in probably. his younger days growing up. Just run along the same. <laughs> yeah, Barry, he's a very handsome man. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it was great to work with those guys. Yeah, yeah you can get so lost in there. You can, you can. Well, you're looking practically Irish now at the moment. Are you? Yeah. You, in the film, you don't have red hair. It's I don't. I'm naturally blonde. This is for a, this is for a different part. Yeah. <laughs> this is just you knew you were being interviewed by Irish. Fiery people. ginger. Yeah. Right. Okay. Apart from Dunkirk, of course, what was your favorite Christopher Nolan film um, before coming? Oh in? God, yeah, that is a good question. The Dark Knight. Yeah, I think it has to be the Dark Knight. Yeah. I think it's it's everything seemed to just. Just gels, but yeah, it was just performances, cinematography, direction, the whole thing. And that darkness that I think it's quite it's in this mm. film, that sort of relentless darkness. Mm. The brutality of the Dark Knight, it, a lot of it's in this film. The I pressure think. and the tension yeah. and the, sort yeah. of the breathlessness. So it's the Dark Knight and Dunkirk then? Uh, yeah. Uh, aye. Yeah. Well yeah, double whammy. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, someone was actually on their phone during some of the screening uh, of Dunkirk. Well, I was wondering, were they, were, they, were, they, were they disappeared? Well, what should we do with people who insist on using their phone that. in the cinema? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's worse in the theatre. Yeah. People answering phones in the theatre. I mean, I didn't know Eating. people's brains work like that, but they do. Some people's do. There are some horrible people out there. <laughs> yeah, there are some truly disgusting people. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> um, one final question. Um, who's going to win, McGregor or Mayweather? Oh, good question, man. I like your style. Uh, Mayweather. Mayweather. It's got to be. Although I, I am a big Conor McGregor fan, but I massive. Think yeah, yeah. He's been I love a bit that more guy. Than can chew, I, think. I think. I think they'll they'll take it to twelve rounds. Yeah. I I, I think they'll be made to. They've both got so much pride, so it's just going to be a clash of the titans. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. Well, listen. Congrats again, again, uh, again, again. Again, again. Again, again. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Uh, and as I said, take the rest of the day off. Perfect. Thanks, man. Jack, Jack oh, No bother. Every hour, the enemy pushes closer. They've activated the civilian boats. Civilians? We need to destroy it. Where are we going? Dunkirk. I'm not going back. If we go, they will die. You're weekend sailors, not the bloody Navy. You should be at home! There's no hiding from this, son. We have a job to do. Turn it around! If you'll fight on the beaches, if you'll fight on the landing grounds, we shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender.